The UK economy is at last on the road to recovery. But how business makes the most of that is vital. And here are my five top tips on making the most of the recovery. One, well, you're still here. Congratulations. Whatever banks did to you, or government did to you, customers did to you, you made it through. Now, the important thing is not to go back to old ways. Draw on the experiences of the last year or so. Make sure that you put all that experience to good use now. The temptation is always to let go of the levers, actually over trade, and more businesses go bust on the way out of a recession than on the way in. Do make sure that you still stay very measured. Make sure that whatever happens, you don't go back into the recessionary time. Two, your people are just key to your success, indeed to your very survival. Do keep training them, keep investing in them, and make sure that they are equipped to deal with the challenges ahead. You might actually have cut back on the training budget in the last couple of years. Survival was obviously more important. Start investing again in your people. And by the way, if your workforce on the way through took a cut in your money, took a cut in the hours they worked so they could keep their jobs. Well, as you bring them back into full-time pay and work, just put a few more bob in their pocket by way of saying thank you. We were in this together as we really got bad. We're in this together going forward again. It's actually more important that you do it than how much you do it. But if you do, just say thank you to those who are with you in the bad times. They will follow you in the good as well. Three, marketing what you do, developing your brand, adding value through what you are and what you stand for as much as what you make or provide will be one of the hallmarks of successful businesses in the years ahead. Think about a marketing strategy, get some advice, and then make sure that you spend the money wisely, but then put the ball in the net. So many marketing strategies fail because the glossy brochure comes out, the presentation's made, but then we don't follow it up with the sales and we don't put the ball in the net at the end of the day. It's a busy time, but make time to market what you do. Four, as you become more active, as you invest in your people, as you develop your new markets, you're going to need more working capital. Whatever you do, keep your bank informed and don't give them nasty surprises. No. They probably weren't your best friend in the last 18 months. Well, try and develop a partnership with them now and ensure that you challenge them to provide the working capital that you need. Put up with a good business plan that shows where that money's going and why it's essential. Five, in so many areas of your business, you could use more or use better technology. Is that journey really necessary or could you have a conference call? Do you really need a meeting or could you do it over the web? There are so many ways in which you can save hours and money by better investment and use of technology. Of course you have to clinch that sale eye to eye. Of course you must give bad news especially rather than good face to face. But I bet if you really looked at how you run your business, you would find that so many hours you put in actually could end up giving the same result through better use of technology.